Hey everyone, I want to share with you another basic network testing tool or troubleshooting tool that I use a lot and it's an app on my phone. So have you ever had this problem where you have a device that is hard to access with a computer, say like an IP camera, wireless access point, maybe an IP phone, and you want to know if it's on the network and moreover you want to know what the IP address is because a lot of times those devices are uh, DHCP, meaning they get the address assigned to them automatically by the router. So this little app right here called Thing um, is just one of many applications you can get for free. So I'm not partial to this one. This just happens to be the one I have. And what it does, it's really cool, is it's on my Wi-Fi network, which is also the same network where a lot of my devices are. And I have about, oh, 30 or so different devices on my network. And do you see how on the right-hand side it gives me the the brand name and the MAC address. So the brand name helps me narrow down which few devices it is. So I have you know a couple of Polycoms, a couple of Panasonics, and then the MAC address, which is usually printed on almost every device, uh, helps me uh, zoom in exactly on it. And so it tells you what the IP address is there on the left hand side. So that solves the problem for me. Oftentimes when I put a new device on my network that does not have a computer interface. Uh, I mean, almost all things can be browsed to, I know, but you kind of need that IP address before you can even browse to it. So this is just one way of helping you work on network devices or troubleshoot network, network devices um, that don't have a readily available way to see what the IP address is. All right, so that's Thing. And like I said, it's not the only game in town. Uh, you can get all kinds of free applications out there, uh, IP tools and different networking type tools that help you troubleshoot using uh, using your phone as a uh, as a tool. So long as it is connected to the same network where you're trying to do the troubleshooting. So I hope that helps some of you guys out. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time.